Hi everyone and welcome to this runner's warm up. Um, it's going to be a quick one so let's not waste a minute and get straight into it. Let's start by coming down onto our backs. Think about the back of the neck being long, shoulder blades open, sacrum resting heavily onto the mat and just start to tune into your breath, to your body, connecting by taking that breath in and out through your nose. It's really important that we learn to breathe well because if we can't breathe well, we can't move well. So just thinking about that deep inhale through the nose, your belly rises upwards, outwards, backwards towards the mat. 360 degree breath. And then as you exhale, everything contracts, moves back to the center line and the air flows back out the way it came. So just a couple of breaths like this here to connect and to just pay attention to maybe what's going on in your body and how it feels. It's always good just to have a little check in, see if there's anything that feels tight or glitchy. If you're holding on to anything anywhere that you didn't really notice before now, just observe. And then again, just take a moment to notice what's coming up in your mind and just let go of that on your next exhale, along with any tension or stickiness that you feel like you're holding. Think about just letting that go, letting it release from your body with your next exhale. To start with, we're going to do a breathing drill. So we're gonna be taking our arms over our head and you're gonna be inhaling through the nose for a full breath and then you're going to be pulling your back lower back and pelvis into flexion so pulling the back into the mat and tucking the tailbone towards the back of the knees and then you're going to be exhaling through your mouth with a wide open mouth for as long as you can let that air out so you exhale like you're fogging up a mirror so if you put your hand in front of your face open your mouth and exhale onto your hand like you're trying to fog that mirror that is the breath we're going to be doing and you're going to breathe out until you cannot get any more out of your body and your body forces you to take an inhale, okay? So let's inhale through the nose. Feel that whole lung capacity and then pull our back into the mat, pull our pelvis into flexion, wide open mouth and exhale that breath until we can push no more air out of our lungs. <sighs> Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You might find that you can't get very far or you might find that you can keep going for ages, but keep going so you feel like you're emptying every single little content of your lungs. If you cough, that's all right. Just bring your arms down when you've done that. Just take a recovery breath. Inhale here, exhale through the nose. And then we're gonna take our arms back over again. Inhale through the nose. Pull the back into the mat, pelvis, and then exhale through that wide open mouth again. Keep pulling that back into the mat. <sighs> keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pulling the back. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You should feel a stretch in that lower back and your abdominals. And then release the arms down, take a recovery breath. In through the nose, out through the nose. And then let's take those arms overhead again. Breathe in through the nose, pull that back into the mat, tilt the pelvis, so tailbones tucking towards the back of the knees, and then inhale, sorry, we've already inhaled, wide open mouth, exhale. <sighs> keep pulling, keep pulling the back, keep pushing the breath, go, 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 till you can't force any more breath out of the body. Keep going, 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 wide open mouth and then bring those arms down. Nice. From here, we're gonna take a block or a cushion or something similar that you can grab between your thighs. Feet hip distance apart, big toe grounded, little toe heel, tripod base of support. And then you're gonna slowly peel yourself up into a low bridge, okay? So you're curling up. Pelvis is in neutral. Think about energetically pulling those two front hip bones towards each other. Give your glutes a prod, give them a tap, make sure they're switched on. 
and then you're going to take your left arm to the sky and you're going to slowly start to pendulum swing it. Okay, so I want you to really focus on that movement. You're going to do two forwards and backwards and then you're going to take it up to um, vertical and bring that arm across and take it out wide. Bring it back up across and take it out wide. Good. Bring that hand down, take the right arm to the sky, pendulum swing the right arm. But you're moving with control, you're not just flying the arm all over the place, you're really thinking about that movement forwards and backwards. And then next time you bring it up to vertical, we're going to take that arm across the body and then out to the side. Staying off that shoulder if you can, staying coming across the body again and then out to the side. Good, come back to center. Let's remove the block. And you're gonna take your left knee over your hip. So you're loading this right glute and we're gonna do the same again. So pendulum swing this left arm. Again, keep the control. Think about what's going on in that joint. Squeezing that right bum cheek and then come back to horizontal across the body, away from the body. Notice that as you take it away, you're gonna put more demand because you've got that left leg lifted as well. So stop yourself from falling over. Good, come back, pop the left foot down, right leg lifts. Stabilize through this left glute, give it a prod, give it a tap. And then right arm, pendulum swings, keep the control. Really focus on that movement. Keep the breath in and out through the nose. Good. And then next time you come up to vertical, take the arm across the body and take it away. Take it across the body. Feel maybe the little shake in that left bum cheek. Keep it engaged. Take it away. Good. Pop that, feet da that foot down and we're going to start to lift our toes towards our shins. Really pull them up. Got 10 of these lift and lowers. Keep the glutes engaged. Really pull that toe up. Feel that working the front line of the shin. Good. Two more. And then we're going to push into our big toe and work from our heels. So we're lifting our heels, flexing through that ball of the foot. So make sure you've got enough. Um, elevation in your heels and make sure you're not rolling into the out of your ankles so you're lifting up trying to keep that straight line lifting forwards in line with your toes good let's do three more glutes engaged good and slowly roll down upper middle lower back nice work we're going to take our right leg to the sky and you're going to do two circles one way very slowly really moving into that ankle. And then you're gonna do three slightly quicker, really making a huge circle with that ankle. Then you're gonna move round the other way. So two circles in the opposite direction, really imagining you've got a paintbrush on the end of your toes and you're trying to get as big a circle as possible and then three faster. Good. From here, bring that leg down and you're gonna do three circles one way in that hip joint, keeping everything else stable. The movement's just coming from the hip joint. And then three circles the other way. You're gonna use your midline stability. Everything's having to work hard to not tip your body, but you're also mobilizing into that hip joint. Pop that foot down, bring the left leg to the sky again. Two circles really slow in one direction. And then three faster ankle circles. Notice which ankle maybe feels more fluid and then two in the opposite direction, slow it right down. And then three faster. Good, and then bring that leg down and we're gonna do three hip circles one way, keep the control slowly really putting your focus into that hip socket, mobilizing into that hip joint. You might feel this in your hip flexors, fronts of your thighs as well. 
Good. Last one. And then pop that foot down. We're going to move on to our abdominals. So let's interlace the hands behind the head, elbows frame the face. Just push the head back into the hands as you lift it up. You're going to inhale through the nose, exhale, lift. Low belly pulls down and back towards the mat, okay? You're going to take your left knee over your left hip, right hand to the front of that left thigh and push that hand into the thigh as you resist with the, hand, uh, with the thigh and pull this belly down and back. Good. Hand behind the head. Inhale, come down. Exhale, lift. Breathe everything out. <sighs> Low belly pulls down and back. You've got a little gap in the base of the spine. You're not pulling your back into your mat. Right knee hovers. Left hand to the top of the right thigh. Push that thigh away. Resist that thigh. Resist that push with the thigh. Pull into that low belly space. Hand behind the head. Inhale, come down. Exhale, lift. <sighs> left knee over the left hip, cross that right hand to the top of the left thigh, push and resist at the same time, open the left elbow, bring it back in. Do not fall onto that left shoulder. You're not tipping, you're keeping the body straight, you're lifting off, you're staying up off that left shoulder. Hand behind the head, inhale, come down. Exhale, we lift. Right knee over right hip, left hand to the top of the right thigh, push away and then open that elbow for three, Hug into the midline for two. Notice I've got space beneath my shoulder for one. Good. Hand behind the head. Inhale, come down. Good. We're going to rock and roll from here. So think about length in the spine, fluidly rolling that spine out and then come on over and we're going to come into dolphin. So really important to connect the shoulders to the pelvis and to the deep abdominals, interlace the hands, lift up into dolphin. Really lift out of the mat. From here, you're gonna take that um, right heel to the bum and you're gonna pulse that foot to the sky to get your glute going, glute max, and then you're gonna take that knee out to the side to work your stabilizing glute, okay? So pulse up, out to the side. Pulse up, squeeze, out to the side. Good, we've got three more. Keep lifting out of the shoulders. If this feels too much, you can just stay with both feet down. Good. I think two more. <laughs> Good, last one. Really push up, feel that glute squeezing. Good, foot down. Left heel to bum, push up, take it out to the side. Push up, take it out to the side. Keep the rest of the body still. Notice the movement or direct the movement to this left hip and glute area, good. Keep lifting into the pelvis, lifting out of the shoulders, pulse out to the side, last one. Good, out to the side, foot down, knees down, hands to the mat, lift up for down dog. Okay, have a little push into the feet. Left heel to bum, you're going to circle three times one way in that hip joint. Keep that heel pulled into the bum. If you've got something like a little towel, you can put it behind the knee so that you have something to feed back to hold on to. Good. Keep lifting out of the shoulders so you're pushing away from the mat. You're not collapsing. Step that left foot forwards. Rotate to the right side lunge. So you're sitting back in your hips driving into that inner foot. We're not up here and sending our knees forwards. Our bum is going back, okay? Left to right. And as we go left to right, we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna do figure of eights leading with our index finger, okay? So wrist figure of eights leading with the index finger. Keep the neck in line with the spine, rotate to the back of the mat, land the hands. Right leg comes long, heel to bum. Circle three times in that right hip joint. Remember, imagine you've got something behind that knee to keep that heel pulled in. Change direction for three. Keep pushing out of the hands. Release the neck, keep it loose. And then step that right foot forwards, rotate back to the same side of the mat. Sit back in those glutes, hinge again side lunge and then this time you do figure of eights but you lead with your pinky finger so your little finger okay so 
that's leading the movement rather than your index finger. Good. Nice. And then come back to the top of the mat. We lower this right knee. Bring your body up. Squeeze this bum cheek. Push through those back toes. You should get a stretch through the front of this right thigh. Arms out in front. You can make fists. And we're going to draw figure of eights with our arms, okay? Really grow long through the spine. Don't flare through the ribs. Good. Grow tall and then reverse the direction. Good. Nice. And then from here, grab blocks if you've got them. If not, you can just take your hands to the bottom of the mat or just have your hands on something a bit higher. You're going to lift up and back, sit back towards that back heel, drive into this front heel, suction this left thigh. You're not locking out at that knee, but you're working a runner's lunge. So lift up and back, sit back towards that back heel and pull the chest through. So shoulders sit on the back body. The spine is long. We're not rounding up here. Okay, good. Pull the chest through, neck in line with the spine. Good. Last one. And then land this front foot. You're going to rotate the back foot. So you're in like a warrior two legs. So if I came up, I'd be in warrior two legs. Okay. You're then going to sit back into that right thigh. So you're bending that right thigh, flexing at that ankle, the knees going over the toe, come forwards, drive into this front foot, push down, knee comes over the toe, get some flexion in that front angle, pu uh, ankle, push back, drive into this foot, suction the thigh bone. You can also lift the toe, come forwards, drive. Good. One more. And then you rotate to the side, hinge again, side lunge, sit back. Good. And let's add in leading with the little finger, those figure of eight circles, and then we're going to switch. Lead with the index finger. Nice. Keep the neck in line with the spine. Switch. Good. And switch. Good. Rotate to the back of the mat. Hands come to the head. Inhale here. Squeeze this left bum cheek. Drive through that left toe. Grow tall through the crown of the head. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist. Center, inhale. Exhale, twist. Two more. Good. Last one. Exhale, rotate. You're holding your pelvis as you rotate. Back to do the other side. So arms out in front, figure of eight. Okay, grow long through the spine. If you want, you can close down your eyes. And then reverse the direction of the figure of eights up and down. Good. Reverse. Good. Reverse. Good. Land the hands. Blocks if needed. Drive through this front foot, blocks in line with the front foot. Sit back, bend that back knee. Runner's lunge. Drive through this front right heel, suction this right thigh. Pull the hips back. Imagine someone's pulling you from the crown of the head and the tailbone. Spine is long. Tap the knee down, lift up and back. Good. Keep going. Breathe. Nice. Two more. Tap down. Pull the chest through. Last one. Drive into that front heel. Good, rotate, sorry, land the front foot, rotate the back foot. You're in slightly bent front leg, straight back leg, and then you're going to drive forwards into that front knee and push away from the floor, driving into the floor, suctioning the thigh bone. So you've got that opposition of forces as you bend into the left thigh and the knee comes forwards over the toe. Good, drive forwards, push off the back leg. Push from the front leg, sit back into that left thigh. Last one, drive forwards, sit back. Good, drive into that floor. Remember, options to lift the toe and then rotate through the middle. Side lunge again. And we're working from leading with the index finger, switch, so lead with the pinky finger. Figure of eights, you're drawing figure of eights, switch, index finger, switch, pinky finger. Good. Rotate back to the top, lower the knee, hands to the forehead, squeeze that right bum cheek, inhale here, exhale, twist. Inhale back to center, exhale, twist. Inhale to center, exhale, twist. Stabilize from this right glute, don't allow the pelvis to turn. Good, last one. Nice, and then from here you're gonna come to your knees. 
Okay, and we're going to take our left arm up and over, side flexion. Right hand to the left ribs, and I want you to breathe in through your nose to the point where you can't breathe any more air in, and it just forces out itself back out of the mouth. Um, it just comes out of the mouth. So breathe in through the nose. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. And then just let it out. Don't force it out, just let it come out. Again, breathe in through the nose. Keep breathing, keep breathing, breathe into this hand. Reach that arm away at the same time. And then let it out, <coughs> excuse me. And then last one, breathe into that hand. As much as you can, you're expanding that whole rib capacity. And then just let it come out of the mouth. Good, let's do the other side, right arm over, left hand to right ribs, breathe. Really send the breath low in the body. So you're expanding this rib cage forwards, backwards, and outwards. Let the breath fall out. Another breath in through the nose. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Reach this arm away. Let the breath come out. And then last one. Breathe into these hands. Feel the ribs moving into the hands. So you can't get any more air in the breath. Breath in the air. Breath in the body, my goodness. Let it out. Good. Release the arms. Just have a little roll off of the shoulders. You can have a little swing of the arms, rotation through the midline. And that is your runner's warm up. And it should set you up for a fantastic run. Enjoy.